Jesus fucking Christ, is it working? Yes, it is. It is indeed uh, working. Oh, hey, God damn it. All right, cool. Hi. Uh, my cat likes to come and sit on my keyboard, and so my microphone settings get fucked up literally every time I try to talk to somebody oh. on Discord. Oh, it's no. It's such a problem. That is a problem. But hey, you're here now, and that's all that matters. So, True. welcome to the show. Introduce yourself to the chat and plug your channel. Hi, chat. Uh, I'm Girlboss Marcy. I stream about politics, and I play video games, and I talk about music and all that good stuff. Uh, over at twitch.tv slash girlbossmarcy. I've also got a YouTube channel that uh, got fucking banned because this is literally 1984. Um, so I made a, a new YouTube channel. So What'd that's, you get banned that's, for? That's, that's in the process. It got banned for, uh, I think it was for uh, deceptive content because uh, I can't change my stream titles in the middle of uh, doing stuff. Spur. So I got to get better about that. But, that's really uh, weird. Oh, I never do that. I know. I just put everything I'm going to do in the title for the day. And then, I don't know. Or well, I'm sorry that happened. Categories. I'm not it, sure. I mean, it could, I, it could also something. just be that somebody mass reported your channel. That's what it sounds like to me. I got, I got, got hit to. once for uh, spam and deceptive practices for covering um, Donald Trump's uh, Donald Trump's Georgia tapes, and that hasn't been. That was my f the the free the free uh, hit that they give you. Um, that Wait was what minute. I got. Hit I Wait yeah. a minute, I know what it was. I know exactly what it was. Mm. I covered uh, Project Veritas's exposed CNN thing. Yep. And I put Project Veritas in the title. There you and go. And Project Veritas is like a, like a purveyor of bullshit. So yeah, I probably got mass reported. Yep, they probably, they probably did. They're very bad about that. Uh, Veritas is notoriously litigious in that way. So it would not surprise me in the slightest. Uh, definitely appeal it. it I, I appealed and did eventually get unbanned, which would be great. But... um. But yeah, uh, good luck with that. I'm sorry. Uh, I had to make a big stink to YouTube on social media, and then they finally, finally did it. Um, yeah, okay. So you're going up against Rob Nor, huh? Rob Nor, wait, wait, wait. Rob Nor and Lecture Fan. Ooh, so is it a 2v2 or is it a panel? Yeah, What's going on? It's okay, a 2v2. 2v2. It's me and, uh, me and Joe Lewis versus oh, yeah, Rob right, Nor right, right. and Lecture Fan. Joe Lewis? Pog is shit. I really like Joe a lot. I have a lot of respect yeah, for Joe. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Um, Rob Nor. Okay, so Lecture Fan. There's not, there's not really much I can tell you about Lecture Fan. Um, Lecture Fan is immensely fragile. Um, he is very, very easy to upset. Um, and no one should really take him seriously. I have no doubts that you will not have... Like, like genuinely, I don't know of anybody who could lose to, to Lecture Fan. He had, um, a, he had a take one time that I retweeted. Um, I didn't. I don't even think I quote tweeted it because I couldn't think of anything to say. I just retweeted it. It was like, uh, oh god, let me see if I can find it. He ju he just goes on Twitter and he just like pops off whatever is on the top of his brain, and it's beautiful. I think. Yeah, yeah, he really thing. does. Um, I mean, there's been entire clips of him just being like dead wrong, like and contradicting himself repeatedly. God, it's so funny. Yeah, he's always on the lowest energy. But oh, he's on a he's on a pro-Israel kick lately. Actually, Ooh, he's, he's wow. uh, talking what about anti-Semitism on the American left. Which... Ah, well, I mean, I talked about that, but um, I have a feeling that there. he doesn't do a very good job of it. That's what I'm saying. I I would love it if people um would be cognizant of the tropes that they're using in their discussions of Israel. But um, I don't trust somebody like Lecture Fan to do a do a balanced and fair analysis of the Israel-Palestine yeah. conflict on the I, left. Like, I have a little bit of a feeling that he hasn't really, he doesn't really care about, uh, in fact, I know for a fact, he doesn't really care about anti-Semitism until it's politically convenient. Um, and I'm sure he'll go right back to whatever JQ posting that he does uh, when nobody's looking. Um, oh, yeah. Wait, does he JQ? Oh, I have no idea. I just, I just oh, assume okay. so. When I, when somebody gets that far into the Trump cult, I assume that it's like inevitable um, that they, that they do. Like he was like, so on the Trump train, it was actually yeah, really wasn't hilarious. He a, wasn't he an election truther? Yes, he was. Yep. He was. Oh, yep. God, no. Yeah. When they're at that level, it's pretty, it's a pretty, pretty rough. quick jump over to JQ. Yeah. And in the words of, in the immortal words of Vosh to lecture fan, it sure is tough out there being a dumb fuck. So yeah, that's, uh, yeah. that's my primary exposure to lecture fan. So yeah, yeah we're, yeah. We're excited for that one. Uh, as for Nor, I know mm. you two have a history. We do have a bit of a history. Uh, I believe I was the first like one-on-one -on -one debate he ever had with a lefty, and uh, I think I, I think it broke him permanently um, because uh, he did a horrible job and he looked like a fool. Uh, he ended up 
on stream condemning the actions of uh, Jewish anti-fascist in Nazi Germany because uh, violence is bad, apparently. Um, and it was really bad. He looked like an idiot. So one thing you should know about about Rob is that Rob's favorite tactic is the gish gallop. You're, I'm sure you're familiar with with like a proper gish gallop, right? My Yeah, it, but with Rob Nor, I feel like it's... I feel like it almost has to be in a category of its own, separate mm -hmm. from like Rap traditional gift galloping. Yep. Yeah, it's like he he lays out like a, a sheet of conspiracy theories, and then he goes back to that every every time it's his turn. So that's what I'm anticipating. What, what was the topic? Like, did you say again? Biden's first hundred days, which I don't know why they would choose that because that's just a wash for me. Like in every measurable way, that's a wash. Yeah, for me. it's like like yeah, he's he's you know. In comparison to Trump, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's exactly. Crazy. Like, the, like, just keep in you... mind that like he's probably going to immediately start talking about like critical race theory and other um popular uh uh popular talking points. He has um what Rob does. Okay, so Rob is very much, and I will say this: I'll give some credit to Rob here. In my opinion, Rob is is, is he definitely studied his uh his Rush Limbaugh, um, which any any would be conservative demagogue should of course study rush limbaugh um and what he will do is he will try to uh do a uh tactic called slamming out the segment or uh there's various names for it but basically what he'll do is he'll wait until the very tail end when you have no time left when it's a closing statement or something along those lines and he will rattle off a basically impossible to contest screed of nonsense the secret is that most people can't understand what the fuck he's talking about. So you can use that to your advantage. Um, he do really does have a hard time actually making his words and his screeds understandable to um, anybody who's not himself or already on the same level of like brain soup. Um, also, he's very mask on, by the way. Um, if you go and take a mosey on over to his YouTube channel, you'll be able to see some of his rants where he will lie straight because he's he really does understand that that it's an optical battle um i asked him point blank on the um on the hippie dippy championship if he believed that blm was a terrorist organization and he said no despite the fact that he literally argued in a conversation one-on-one -on -one with me and in a debate i had two days prior to the hippie dippy championship that blm was a terrorist org he will 100 percent lie so just be aware that, that he'll do that and don't be afraid to call him out on it if you catch it. Um, and like some of it's going to be hard because he might just be lying about his positions. But um, yeah, he will spit out a hundred different fucking anecdotes about critical race theory and Joe Biden secretly making deals with the Chinese communists. It's just it's really much. It's very, very much in that school of Rush Limbaugh of spit out massive information that confirms all the biases of everyone he can hear. But... Yeah. Again, I was wondering he's not... if I could, um, can I, can I sort of give you my read on the, the atmosphere of this debate and then Absolutely. You, like tell me how accurate it is? Sure. Mm -hmm. I, I get the sense from the type of people that Rob and lecture fan are that mm -hmm. this isn't very much going to be something because I didn't, I didn't do a whole lot of prep. I did enough prep to like have a list of things Joe Biden did in his first hundred mm -hmm. days. And I didn't really do much beyond that because I don't feel like this is really like a, like a battle of information. Um, mm -hmm. I feel as though this is more uh trying not to let him grab the conversation by the reins than mm -hmm. anything else um because I, I he tries to do that he tries to grab the narrative and like lead the conversation in yes, the direction does. of his crazy fucking crackpot conspiracy theories and away from actually talking about the data that like i would prepare and would prove useless to me yeah because is he that, can talk is that an accurate read that's very accurate he for he he can talk for hours about the the secrets of hunter biden's laptop and whatever <laughs> like i mean i'm not kidding you he, he could spend an hour doing about that but what he can't do is he can't actually contest most of the actual arguments for any of the so topics that he's on because he's wrong that's part of the reason um but he will toss out like i mean Here's what I do when I'm going up against Rob. What I do when I'm going up against Rob is I call out his tactics to the audience. And obviously that has to be done carefully. You don't want to sound like you're pandering to the audience too much. But you can, you like, I, you'll notice that in my previous debates with Rob, if you've ever seen any of them, I've done things like, listen, Rob, you're spitting out a hundred different things, but nobody, nobody here who's listening to this conversation can understand what you're talking about or what they have to do with what we're talking about. Do you mind please sticking to the issue that we're here to talk about? Because I, I think that, 
you know, uh, and, and if he's like, oh, here's, you know, here's, here's this, that, and the other thing. What about Hunter Biden's laptop? You can just go, listen, I recognize you're trying to throw out a lot of different information that might like hook some interest for people, but we're really not here to discuss that. Here's what I want to know. And what's your answer to this? You have to force him to stay on track. And he just doesn't do a good job in the debate the one-on-one -on -one debate that i had with rob it was most that was probably the most telling of of any the, conversation. Is that the one from like seven months ago yeah it's from a long time ago it was the one about okay, yeah. antifa um and yeah, yeah, one that. of the things is that like i ridic i way over prepared and one of the things that he had to do was at one point and i i admittedly like this was one of the very few small missteps i had i let us get off on a tangent about Michael Reinow and like whether it met the legal definition of an execution or not and and like it was stupid a pointless side conversation and he just literally just played dumb the entire time and wasted everyone's time unfortunately on everything else the facts simply did not back him because how the hell are you going to say oh like Antifa is a is a organized terrorist group it's like no it objectively is not and the FBI knows that it's not like the one group you think would be most interested in getting rid of like a terrorist group is not so unless you're implying that the FBI is also secretly infiltrated by Antifa that which would be absurd to claim um, then you don't know what you're talking about and I went into the history of Antifa I used my time to, to like educate people and the thing is if you teach people stuff they didn't know that are in the audience if you actually are able to engage with the issues you can basically sidestep all of his meaningless gish galloping and he just looks like basically alex jones but less charismatic thinking is avoid reading his chat right because i might uh don't never read uh, chat yeah never read yeah, chat. yeah yeah never that'll dash my confidence a little bit you never um, read chat like especially not his chat well, I feel like if you're down the down the rabbit hole enough to be a Rob Nor fan, you probably won't be convinced by anything like a random trans person says on, on your boys' show. But you know, it's, yeah. Uh, but I mean, oh, his chat is super transphobic, by the way. Just so you know, like I've, they constantly yeah, do that. I've, yeah. I've kind of figured. I think that I think you described them to me once as like lazy transphobic walruses who like yeah. sit, sit they on kind the of sit around and just go. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, yeah, that's basically that basically describes his chat. It's a bunch of angry car dads who are there to see another angry car dad. Um, um, oh God, yeah. If he wasn't on the Twitch game, he might be on the be on the filming himself in a car with no, like Oakley sunglasses. That, game. That, that's what he does on YouTube. His YouTube really? channel. Yep. Go check his YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is mostly car rants. And the fun thing, funny thing is, he does a radio show. Like he has an actual radio show in Pennsylvania, which is basically his stream. No, you're oh, thinking. Yeah, uh, we bury. You're thinking of. Uh, you're thinking of Redneck. I think. I don't believe oh, that God, Rob has ever Redneck. done that. Yeah, that's Redneck. Redneck is a tr like a, a just waste of time. <laughs> He's literally not worth engaging with. Yeah, like yeah. not even worth not even worth platforming, not even the slightest. Like Rob at least is able to have a conversation. Angriest, that might be the angriest debate I've ever seen from you. I don't yeah. know though. You, it just, oh, because uh, oh god. That was because I went gloves off. It was like I was given an opportunity to go up. I mean, Redneck, like listen, I don't want to spend much time on Redneck, but Redneck literally went on Dylan's stream to have an argument with Dylan about my penis. I'm not kidding you. Like I'm not Ew. kidding you. Yeah, it's fucking weird. That's the fucking weirdest shit I've ever had happen to me. One of the weirdest things I've ever had happen to me. Yeah, that's real. That actually happened. It's still up on Dylan's channel. Yep. Um, Couch warrior himself. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Oh, don't say that. You'll lose. Oh, Redneck's going to lose his mind. Don't say that. He'll lose his mind <laughs> over that. Um, but the yeah, thing is, like, yeah. Rob is Rob is rather uh, Rob is rather easy to um, upset as well, um, where he'll start losing his cool um and and get really whiny and high pitch and wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute and he'll do that sort of thing but the thing is about rob is that rob is very practiced on his talking points so like even if he gets mad he'll still bang out his talking points so you have to find a way to either um undercut or or counter his his the talking points that he does have the thing is he will inevitably have so goddamn many talking points that it will be very hard to keep up with those if you let him control the conversation and he will try to that is you are correct in saying that that's what he does that's why he gish gallops like that because I he get wants the impression to that he's a he's a i'm sorry i'm looking at his youtube channel he it's like car dad shit but in a house with an american flag behind him Yep, he does some of that too. But he, oh, that's, I think that's his newest thing. He set up a new set, but he used to do, if you scroll back a ways, you'll oh, see. Oh, here all, it is. Yeah, yeah you, yeah, you can find it. Yeah, you can find his like 4 a.m. car dad videos. He's ranted about me in those. He's ranted about Mel about in those, uh, which was really funny. Um, he's done entire rants about how the cultural Marxists are coming to 
brainwash our kids and turn them gay. Like, I'm not kidding you. When when he when he's in his car dad rant mode, he goes like mask off. But he keeps a real nice he keeps a real nice face on for when he's on stream, especially when he's on a um like a a a, a podcast that's like more left leaning. I don't who's who's podcasting? Who's hosting the podcast? By the way. It's his. It's it's his. Oh, it's his. Show. Okay, so yeah, that's the one that's. Is it is a? He, that's the one that's hosted by AfterShock or whatever, right? Yeah, hosted yeah. by AfterShock. Yeah, AfterShock is a AfterShock is, in my opinion, a pretty good moderator. Um, I don't know anything about AfterShock's political opinions or AfterShock anything else. Is, so AfterShock is a big Trump supporter. Who, um, I actually the reason I'm going on the show is because I had plans to debate AfterShock. Mm. Um. And then Aftershock like quit the debate scene and started moderating Rob Nor's show. So uh, when I messaged him again, he was like, oh, hey, I actually am in charge of Rob Nor's booking now. So do you want to come on and debate Rob? And I was like, sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that'll do it. Well, I mean, I, again, I have never had a, like a personal problem with Aftershock. And when I went on Rob's show, I thought it was like I thought he did a good job moderating um, and he's pretty even handed. So I don't know. And again, I don't. I, I couldn't argue his politics or whatever, but I think he's a pretty decent well, that's, moderator. That's good to know because sometimes yeah. these people will get like their their best buddy to moderate for them. But yeah, I'm it's really glad, bad. Uh, yeah, glad he at least has the honesty to fucking get a get somebody who's a better moderator. Yeah, and you'll see that you'll see that type of shit with um with with some of the right wing panels. I know there was one that was like um fuck i can't remember who it was some like steve guy and he used to do these really fucked up panels where it was just like no no attempt at 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 like even um at like even handed moderating he just would dump <laughs> dump on people put like 15 people against one trans person like just for fun yeah it's steve something i fucking can't read like maybe killer steven or something like that i think uh, um, i think what's his face uh worski used to do that or like oh yeah, well, at, like yeah Adam Worski used to do uh, blood blood sports like which was yeah. again yeah that was like explicitly that um yeah yeah Just that's rough. absolutely off the rails they I oh that's actually where I first heard of contrapoints oh really that's how I found well, on, on yeah, Worski a, wow no from uh, a blood sports conversation she had on Google Hangouts with uh, Lauren Southern and Lauren Chen and Destiny and holy others. shit what the fuck that must have been a long time ago i've never even seen it was that. like it was like right after she came out as trans oh um, wow okay she, they yeah nick fuentes was nick fuentes was on that and he jesus uh, christ he was, like, he was like in my society you would be going to a doctor oh okay <laughs> it was, yeah it was it was Th rough. thanks i guess <laughs> damn that and sounds like a like, fun watch creepy little creepy little elf voice yeah oh yeah nick, nick no, fuentes is is such an uh, Nick Fuente, Booger Nick is, well, he's sticky and slimy, okay? Listen. What I said earlier is that the, the, uh, I wish that we could appropriate the way that he uh, he says true things incredulously. Like, he'll be like, oh, yeah, sure, dinosaurs existed. All right, okay. And it's, I don't know. I think that's a brilliant I don't know. comedic I don't tactic understand. that's being wasted by a Nazi. Yeah, you're, you're right. I think it is it is uh, loudly proclaiming uh, uh, things that are ob ob obviously true in a funny voice is indeed a, a a talent of sorts i suppose or perhaps it's a no it's, fu it's it's funny to me because he's so stupid he doesn't even believe dinosaurs existed that i think that's what makes it oh funny. yeah he does feel, he is that. what i'm like... saying is that if somebody had a character that was nick fuentes and it wasn't a real person it was just somebody doing a, like a character mm -hmm. i would think it was hilarious but the fact yeah, that it's a like real a, person like a nathan me. for you or a, or like a um you know that sort of situation yeah i can yeah, see that. just like here's this creepy unpleasant nazi yeah exactly true he is creepy and unpleasant oh god nick fuentes is so sad um yeah so smarter than rob though smart i will say i which is oh I, well yeah but nick fuentes so, is, like... A, is like a skilled broadcaster and is funnier than rob rob is not funny rob does not get dunks or burns that's one of the things you are funny i will say that i you know i've been you know watching your your twittering and your debating and you know i've been on a panel with you now um you're funny you can use that to your advantage like don't be afraid like obviously you don't want to go like i mean you can i i'm very spicy i'm very spicy when i go up against right wingers but uh, there are some people who won't like that so much but There's i will no say it really bothers you um I'm, I'm worried that i might do uh the thing i do when i'm under pressure where i go like full timid baby mode oh and don't I, do I, that I, I, yeah how do i not do that because i don't want to come off too mean right like i don't want to you just wanna, need like, to remember that they're going to try and talk over you it. like i'm doing right now like i just talked over you they're going to do that the entire time the entire motherfucking time 
Yeah, but I respect you. So I. So yeah, I, but I so don't you see, the thing that you have to do <laughs> is that you really need to just elbow your way in. And you need to be, even if it means that you have to raise your voice and force yourself to get a turn, even if you have to be like, really, to the mod and be like, are you, can I please have an opportunity to say something? Like, this is supposed to be a panel with multiple people on it. You have to elbow your way in. They will do that. Like, they will shamelessly engage in like just blatant sexism. You, you can't, Rob, you can't go Tim and mode. That's the one thing you cannot do. The rule Rob is a ranter, but I don't know how bad lecture fan is about that. I don't know if he's more of oh, like he's a really sit bad back and then say dumb shit or no, he's a, he's a ranter. Well, oh, he, he's both like, like it depends on how like drunk or, or out of it he is. If he smoked like a fuckload of weed, he might just like sit back and say nothing. But for the most part, oh God, I've tangled up my necklace now. Oh, I've been fucking with it. And now it's all tangled up and looks uneven. Oh Jesus. What have I done? Oh God. Now, it, now I'm freaking out okay anyway the one thing you don't want to do is you never ever this is my advice from one fucking woman streamer to another okay listen you never ever want to do the timid thing that is the one thing you can't do it is it is almost always better to come off as a street screaming sjw than to just sit there and let them talk the entire time because if you're if you're come off as a screaming sjw sure people will go eh, all she does is scream ee, ree, whatever but they will remember you, even if they hate you. And uh, if you don't, they will forget you and you will not be noticed from the panel and you will have wasted your time. So if they force your hand, you can just be a horrific bitch to them. And the, bet and the thing is, if it really gets to that point, as long as you're funny, people will remember you positively and you'll make them look like a fool. Because remember at the end of the day, the number one way, the, the truly the most effective way to defeat fucking idiot, uh, uh, crypto fascies and stuff like that. The best way to do that is to make them look like a clown. And if they look like a clown and you successfully make people laugh, they will get so mad. And that's the thing. You can see it, both Lecture and Rob. In fact, every single right winger I argue against, if you get a good burn off on them, they'll know it and they will show it. They won't be able to keep it cool because keep in mind, these people's entire, entire worldview is basically uh, built around a, a, a sense of panic and, and emasculation. And if you can Who lost their shit when you said the word bigot about like something else, was that yeah. John Burke or was that Rob Nor? Uh, I think was it that... was, it was John Burke who freaked out about me saying the word bigot or saying that something was bigoted. Um, yeah, he freaked the fuck out about that. Unfortunately, Rob was also, Rob was also like baby shitting and farting that whole debate. Right. Cause I, I remember him getting really fucking mad at you at one point. He got super mad. And the thing is, is like, it's, it's really easy to make them angry. And like, if you watch my old debates and, you know, uh, fair game to con Connor points. We've come a long way over time. <gasps> ooh, oh, I've ooh. got a debate with him too be, next Friday. Be hot for a while. Okay. Will also, you see if um is has fawn? Green chilies. Oh, she's uh. Green chilies are mine. She's talking to me. Green chilies. Now. Green chilies. Are oh, that's okay. Cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's a uh, beans and in... chat. Yeah. What's that? Ask fawn to do what. Uh, oh, I just was going to see if Fawn had the, the rolled the cigarettes or anything. Okay. Because I'd like to have another smoke. Um, yeah, uh, Fawn, or sorry, uh, Gynotype just brought me some beans and rice. Delicious homemade beans and rice with green chilies. It's probably a little spicy. Hopefully it won't make me too sniffly or whatever. So I can still do funny, exciting, interesting content after this. Um, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah. Um, Sorry, uh, you're going to debate Wait, Connor? Connor too. Oh, yeah, look, uh, I not this Friday, but next Friday about the death penalty. Oh, interesting. Oh, that'll be an interesting conversation, I'm sure, actually. Um, the thing is, like, Connor and I used to have, like, like I, I think, unironically, Connor used to hate me. And he did, like, this one video that was super mean. And um, I did a response to it and just fucking dunked on him. And then he messaged me and, and um, agreed to take down the other video. And we made peace. And it was great. And uh, now we have more fun, like needling at each other but not being deeply disrespectful um but if you see my old debates with him i am i was very good at getting under his skin and he would lose his cool and he would scream and he would leave the show he would like walk out of the room because he would get so mad and like that's funny people find that shit funny if you make right, somebody right. so mad that they like leave the call that's like objectively funny everybody laughs at that and so you know at the end of the day um like again the worst thing that a, that a woman can do in twitch space is go quietly you never want to do that they want you to do that they want you to sit there and 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 they want to crowd in and be like let's let the boys talk about the issues fuck that
If you got to get in there and be like, hey, listen, I know you're threatened by little old me. I know my voice is like making your balls feel small or something. If you say something like that, whoo, they will get they will get fucking spicy. Now, you, you run the risk of looking like a bit of a bitch. But hey, if they fire first, if they're crowding you out, go for it. Do you think uh, they're crypto fascists? Of, do you think that of them or do you think do they're... I think, uh, wait, do I think who's I guess, a crypto? Uh, uh, Robin lecture fan. It's not even necessarily that you think they're because I guess I don't think Rob is even America. like a crypto. I think Rob on panels is a crypto fascist, but everywhere else he's just a fascist. Like I mean, he just argues for like you know interventionism. He argued that like the government should put down riots. Like he's that's just fascism. Yeah, and and like that. lecture fan was like one hundred percent on board with everything that Trump did, which Trump is a fascist in my like obviously a fascist in my opinion. Um and uh, so yeah, I think that like. I don't think that lecture fan is even a crypto and I don't really, I think Rob is when he's on a panel, but like not, not when he's on his actual show. Yeah. I guess I was, I was uh, conflating fascist and Nazi a little bit. I think yeah. they're, um, they're for sure. I think like most modern day American conservatives are fascists. But, yeah, I, agree. Um, I, uh, my, <laughs> my main question, do you think I'll end up on Kiwi farms after this? <laughs> um, honestly, God, not from them. <clears throat> I highly not doubt it. Okay, Rob cool. is not. And listen, I have a lot of horrible things to say about Rob. Okay. I don't really like Rob, but Rob isn't that type. Rob doesn't play, uh, at least to my knowledge, he doesn't play dirty like that. He has horrific opinions. He is literally like an apologist for, um, for like, um, conversion therapy, like horrible opinions, but he doesn't do that type of shit. Um, and I don't know how many of his fans are like that either. Um, and lecture fan isn't like that either. Um, you know, lecture yeah. fan might, if you had like a, a protracted thing. Now the people you got to worry about are like, honestly, most of them are deplatformed already. Um, the Kiwi Does farms fan even have fans. I feel like he has anti fans and that's it. Um, I, he has I some know. actually, you know what? Let's do a little, let's do a little, let's do a little snoopery. Let's find out. No. Let's, let's find out. <laughs> Everything let's... I've ever seen about lecture fan has just do, do, been like do, shitty do, panel do, appearances. Do, 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 do. Let's check on lecture fan. L C T R fan. fan, not fab lecture fan. God, his, uh, well over the last 30 days, he's had an average viewership of 30. Oof. Oof. You're platforming him now, aren't you? You get more than that, don't you? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, you don't? Okay. What, well, I guess Twitch? he's... Yeah, on Twitch? Oh, no. Uh, oh, really? I, I have an average of, like, 18. Really? Well, well, hopefully... Yeah, hopefully me. some people from my chat, hopefully some imps will recognize this is a, yet another of the many opportunities to discover up-and-coming talented streamers. There you go. Well, I... Let me tell you, I love the imps, all right? Like ninety percent of the people in my community are imps, so we we love oh, them. Oh ho ho! Yes, we have some it's, imp overlap. The imps are great. Yeah, I have like a I have like a imp VGG community with a couple hangers on from DGG who aren't like just absolute destiny simp's. Oh damn! I, oh oh, let's talk about that, shall we? Let listen. I, I'm I'm interested. You had a falling out with Destiny. What's the story with that? Weren't you like a big DGG -er at one point? Or am I no, wrong about I that? Never. Oh, thanks for all the follows, everybody. I appreciate it. I was not, um, I, so I was never a DGGer. I listen to Destiny when I wash my dishes sometimes. Okay. Um, I listen to the old 6v1, like, Worski panels and stuff like that, where mm -hmm. he just absolutely dominates a bunch of people who are totally stupid. Um, but, uh, I've disagreed with him more and more over the years. I was never, like, a big Destiny fan. I, I heard about him from the JonTron conversation, and it was cool, did, yeah. you know, it was cool to have somebody in the internet who was fighting uh, back against all the, like, alt-right shit and all the crazy fucking conservative shit, you know, and mm -hmm. the, the Trump supporters and all that. So, like, that was great, you know, and I, I loved uh, that content, but lately it's just been, like, dude, the left and the right are equally as bad. Dude, the misinformation from the left and the right is equally as harmful in society, dude. Oh, this is this is cancer. The left is, is cringe. I'm cringing at the left. And it's just, like... I get it when it's people like Peter Coffin or whatever, mm -hmm. but when you're like, when you're just shitting on trans people on Twitter, just like to do it and to provoke a reaction, you can't be like, these psycho SJWs are canceling me. Like, oh, I'm, I'm one of those psycho SJWs, by the way. For, for if you Oh, had... me too. No, that's the thing. Because I was on a panel with Destiny once and I like, 
we agreed on like everything. And I was actually talking about this issue of like people's internalized homophobia, making them more likely to lash out at trans people because like, oh, we can't, uh, we can't be gay. Oh no. And it's gay to love a trans woman or whatever. And that yeah. like had something to do with his take later. Right. And he was agreeing with me on the panel. He was actually defending my position to two of the other people there. And then like two weeks later, he comes out with this fucking, uh, not announcing your genitals when you're trans is tantamount to rape take. And uh, I, I was like, no, this is a stupid take. And I Terrible publicly take. was yeah. like, this is dumb. Um, and then he fucking quote tweeted me. I got like a shit ton of Destiny fans in my mentions and my yep. DMs. Um, and then on stream, he said the weirdest thing. He said, uh, these trans people from these panels are always so fucking sneaky. Like this chick, literally, we had a good conversation and then she backstabbed me. They're always so backstabbing the way they uh, come at you on Twitter and try, to, and try to get you canceled. And I was like, I'm not trying to get you canceled. I literally just disagree with you. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like he takes everything extremely fucking personally. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'd love to have a conversation with him just to clear the air, but I feel like it would immediately go south and I'd just be more of a DGG heel, which you honestly might, might be my niche at this point. I feel like if you're trans in this community, that's your niche. Mm -mm, mm -mm, don't let that happen. Listen, again, <laughs> professional advice, never, never make yourself the foil of another person's community, ever. Oh, you, true. you do that's your own. If they want to do it, go ahead. You don't, don't want to end up being a, a milk from PA, yeah. It'll be no good. Jesus fucking Christ. Chance on the air. Thanks for the six tier one subs. Cyanogic, thanks for the ten tier one subs. Damn. Appreciate it. There we go. Some love from the from from some some very, very kind gifters. Look at that. How great. I uh I don't know if you I, I don't know. Have you ever heard my uh my donate sound and like my oh, sub like sound and my follow sound? Um I don't think so. It's uh it's a recording I have of the lick, like the the thing in music. Do you know what that oh, yeah, is? Oh yeah, yeah, I know what it is. Yeah. It's like ba da 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 da. Um, yeah. and that's just fucking playing, and it's like a recording I have on like flamenco instruments, like trumpet and guitar, and oh, it's nice. just playing over and fucking over again because the imps are showing their support. So thank you, I appreciate it, imps. Hmm. I love the lick. Very Damn, very personal. Oh, true, Merrick. I think Merrick's a little bit behind. The lick is is based. I like him. Ba -da 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 -da. It's good. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. I agree. Yeah. All good right. Ship. I gotta. I gotta hang up in a minute because they want us in there uh, 15 minutes ahead. Go for it. Listen, you've got this. Stay confident. Don't. Don't be quiet. Do not go the meek route. Even if you gotta push yourself. I know you can do this. I know you can keep your cool. Listen. Channel that fucking poster energy that you've got. I know you can do this. Okay. And watch <laughs> cool. for those I'll goddamn go, uh... gish gallops because he's gonna do it. So prep for it. I'll go dark poster on his ass. We'll do it. Careful. Careful with that energy. <laughs> Thanks, Steven Mama. Talk no to you No problem. Later. See you later, Marcy. All right, yeah. everybody. Bye. Go give Marcy a follow. Um, Marcy has is very, very funny. Up and coming newer streamer to the industry. Uh, and you can pop on and give Marcy a follow over at twitch.tv forward slash girl boss Marcy if you want more of that nice, cozy, debatey, etc. They're debating on Rob Noor's panel. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, go watch the panel. Have fun if you want to. Um, again, like, uh, it's Rob Noor's panel. So, you'd be giving views mostly to Rob. But you could watch on Marcy's side, I guess. Whatever. Just give her a follow. Um, seriously. 